a lot of people talk about this stretch. It's about a 240 mile stretch. It's a distance that's almost too far to drive, but too close to fly. So it's actually that sweet spot, the, the transit people call it for, for a, a rail line like this. And yeah, I mean, the, the, the idea just crosses many generations. I mean, think of the, the baby boomers who, you know, are getting into decades where they're not just so eager to jump in a car to, to travel from, you know, downstate to the Northern Michigan area and, and between and, you know, think about just the, the families and again, the students, uh, there are many different universities along this line because it connects up again from Ann Arbor up to Mount Pleasant and then over to Cadillac and then up to, to Traverse City. So um, it's, it's definitely a, a university connector. And then, yeah, that, that next generation worker who, who wants to, to be in Michigan and not necessarily have a, have a car to um, always, always get around the state. When we visited some of the uh, tech businesses down in Ann Arbor, and uh, when we talked to them about this idea, you know, one, we were at one company and, and one of the uh, employees came up to us and said, hey, I love this idea. I just moved here from Michigan to, or from uh, Boulder, Colorado to, to work here at this, this company. And I didn't have a driver's license because I didn't need one where, where I lived before. And then when I moved here, I needed to get a driver's license. And, you know, he thought it was so annoying. And so he said, yeah, you know, I just want the ability to, to get around the state and not have to always jump in a car. 